Let's go to Tennessee. Title says, Tennessee mom reportedly drove with teen daughter on top of car in a fit of rage. Oh boy. True Crime Daily published January 12, 2024, and this is in Crockett County. And it says, A 36-year-old mother faces several charges after she was arrested for driving down the street with her daughter on the hood of her car. According to Crockett County Sheriff's Department, on January 10th, deputies received a call about a domestic incident in progress and learned the issue escalated when Casey Miller allegedly drove recklessly down the uh, down the road in a fit of rage. Miller's teen daughter reportedly got on top of the car during an argument and was still on the vehicle when Miller accelerated on the street. The sheriff's department said the daughter escaped without any physical injuries, but the emotional pain will remain. The uh, deputies took Miller into custody on charges of aggravated child abuse, aggravated assault, and reckless endangerment with a deadly weapon. Sheriff Troy uh, Kilsey told WREG-TV the daughter described her mother's driving as fast. He said, imagine if she was going 40, it probably felt like 60 on top of the car. According to Kilsey, uh, Miller was out on bond due to another domestic related incident involving her husband. Uh, catch, uh, catch that part where it says aggravated child abuse. So this, uh, the daughter was either 18 or younger or 16 or younger and she drove with her on the hood of her car <laughs> damn her mother could only say that she was driving fast so as to not say that this woman is insane um already having another uh, domestic violence incident uh, she probably tried to beat the shit out of her husband Why wouldn't she drive with her daughter on, on the hood of her car? I did see Gypsy Rose out of jail. I saw that interview she did with CNN, too. And uh, it was quite interesting. Quite interesting. Again, all I can say is uh, to be the fly, to be a fly on the wall when the man who committed the crimes for her saw the image of her with her new husband oh to be a fly on the wall just to see the reaction of that man after having lost his freedom due to committing a crime of murder for someone else and then have that same person basically completely deny your, your existence and run off and marry someone else Enjoying said freedom that you no longer have. <laughs> Yikes. I haven't seen the A&E the A &E one yet. You, you know, again, in adding to what I just said, it's the fact that she's banking off of this, so they pay her to do these interviews. They're not free. So she's making money off of it. She's enjoying her freedom. Married to someone else. And he has to spend a good chunk of his time in jail because he has to do his sentence all for someone that doesn't want anything to do with you I'm telling you listen you gotta worry about yourself and that's it at the end of the day no one in this world unless you're obviously if you're put into the situation when you have like kids and stuff like that and people are messing with your family of course it's worth going to jail to defend your family but other than defending the nucleus of your family and your own freedoms and liberties man that's where i draw the line about putting myself into situations for someone else because it ends up like that and now he has to spend his whole time in jail and she had a lesser charge than he did and she's enjoying being famous all because of a crime that she had someone else commit for her. I'm good with that. I'm good. I like my freedom. I like my... There's there's a lot of people that don't... I don't understand why they don't enjoy their freedom. Listen, jail is not worth going for, for no one in this world. I'm sorry. I'm good. I'd rather not have 
issues that could lead me down that path. I'm good. There's already too many problems in the world for me to take on someone else's problems that could potentially land me in jail. And then I'm flipping channels one day, watching TV with a group of other inmates, and I see the person whom I committed this crime for talking about how they never felt anything for this person. I didn't really make him. I, I didn't really make him do it. It was just something that happened and whatnot. Yeah, I'm good with that. It's not worth it. All right, let's check out a video for the same one. This is, you know, it'd be funny if there were uh, some sort of a surveillance video for this same case where we could see the person on the hood of the car. But the video they have here is is not related to it, so we'll move on. But. That was not necessarily a true crime case of like murder and whatnot, but ever so often we get these one-off cases where they're, it's just, I find it to be a humorous break, just like the gingerbread man and the other one that we saw about the kid that goes into the um, tractor and drives around the city. Yeah. 